Joe. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be discussing um, what a pyramid scheme is and some different types of pyramid schemes as well as a couple examples of real world situations that involve pyramid schemes that you might find yourself encountering and to know how to avoid that kind of thing. First things first, a pyramid scheme is a business model that promises commission based on sales of products or recruitment um, when in actuality there is little to no product and uh, there might not even be a product at all. Um, a common type of pyramid scheme is called a Ponzi scheme where it's specifically talking about investments where you recruit people into your bank to invest money, promising them a return on their investment, but you're not actually investing their money, you're just stealing it. Um, and another common type of uh, pyramid scheme is what is called a, an MLM company, which stands for multi-level marketing. Um, also referred to as network marketing or direct sales, um, and those are also really bad. A lot of people say, oh, it's not a pyramid scheme because if it was, it would be shut down because pyramid schemes are illegal. Just want to point out, just because something is happening doesn't make it legal. Illegal things happen all the time around the world every day. Just because something is illegal doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It just means you haven't been caught yet. So the reason why the type of pyramid scheme involving investments is called a Ponzi scheme is because of this guy named Charles Ponzi. He was born in 1882 in Parma, Italy, and when he came to America he had about $2.50 to his name. He was arrested in 1920 after committing 86 accounts of fraud, and he owed an estimated $7 million to his investors. So what he did was he would take people's money who wanted to invest, and then he would get more people to invest and pay out the first round of people with uh, the second round's investment. He would pay their return with the investment that he got from the second round of people. So that's really bad because you didn't actually make any money there, you're just taking money from the next um, ring of people. Okay, so another common type of pyramid scheme is called the gifting scheme, the blessing loom, dinner party, women empowering women, circle of friends, which is the one that I encountered a few years ago. That it was, it was called Circle of Friends. Um, Dinner Club and Women's Empowerment Network. Basically, this is just literally a pyramid scheme. There's no product and there's no, like, real good reason to invest other than if you get into the center of the blessing loom you will walk away with some sort of return on your investment, um, but it's bad. Don't do it. It's a lie and it will f most likely fall apart before you get to the middle or the top of the pyramid. So another type of pyramid scheme that is really common is called an affinity scheme and that specifically targets religious or ethnic groups of people claiming to um, provide a sense of community, provide an opportunity for people to give back, and the person who perpetrates it might not even be a part of the community they're targeting. Alright, so then there's the subject of these multi-level marketing companies, and so right now I want to speak directly to people who are in them, have been in them, or are thinking about joining them. and. I speak from experience because I was involved with Arbon, Young Living, and Beachbody. First thing about these multi-level marketing companies, their products are not better than things you can find in the stores, 
or on some other website like Amazon or like small business companies that make the same type of products. There are companies out there who make way better uh, protein powder and that kind of thing. And also like I just can't stand the texture of something like that. I like need my food to be real for it to feel real. I can have smoothies but it has to start with real fruit. I can't like add weirdly flavored powder to my food. I don't like it and that's one of the reasons why I was turned off to Arvon initially even though I ignored those feelings when I was involved with these companies I was in a place that um, made me ignore my instincts so that's Beachbody and Arbon. their products are no better than something you can get somewhere else for much cheaper their products are so inflated because of all of the direct sellers in their company um, that they have to pay a commission to if they are at that point in the pyramid that they would get a commission. That's why the products are so overpriced. It has nothing to do with quality of the products. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments, but that was my experience with those two companies. And then Young Living. Here's the thing. Essential oils, I believe in aromatherapy, however, do not ingest essential oils, whether or not they are diluted. I have come across evidence that somebody, somebody said that Young Living essential oils, some of them, bleach plastic containers. So what do you think that that is doing inside of your body? Just get it out. Stop. Stop putting that in your body. It's the only body you have. Please don't ingest essential oils. And putting it on your skin, that gets into your bloodstream. Like, putting it on your head, that gets into your body even that way. The other thing I want to mention is that these products are not regulated by the FDA. Supplements, um, essential oils, and the like, they are not regulated by the FDA. So, they can, these companies can put anything on their labels, say that it's a premium product, charge $100 for it, or more. There are some essential oils on Young Living that are almost $300. Um, whereas elsewhere you would get similar products for $10 and they're no different. They have this like seed to seal promise that they have on their website and like literally doesn't mean crap, okay? So don't ingest it, don't use it, don't support MLMs because the business structure is one that is setting you up to fail. It's setting your friends and your family and your coworkers